I've written a bunch of articles on the Work in Sports blog about interviewing for sports jobs. Little tips, little tricks, things to expect. But today we're going to encompass something a little bit broader. And that's how you feel leading up to an interview and how to get your feelings in check. Let's say you're an introvert. And let's say you have a job interview coming up in another day or so. You are probably nervous as can be. The whole process is sending shivers up your spine. You can't sleep at night. You've got all these anxious feelings. Let's be honest. Even if you're not an introvert, you might be feeling a lot of those symptoms. So we're going to talk about a couple tips and tricks you can do in order to calm yourself down and make yourself ready to show your true and best self in an interview process. The first thing, a lot of introverts and people that are nervous tend to try to script things out. And this is actually a bad mistake. If you're trying to script out your answers, you never sound natural and you never sound confident in what you are saying. Plus, if you stutter for a moment and you get a little bit out of your mental script, then it all falls apart. Then your anxiety gets worse. Then it just all snowballs down from there and you never get to show who you really are. The game plan you should go in with is maybe it helps you to write down certain things that trigger something in your mind to keep it sharp. Great. Don't memorize. You've got to know information from your heart and your soul and be able to trust in your education and in your experience to let that come through. If you go scripted, it's never going to work out for you. Tip number two, load up your schedule with other things in advance of your interview. Now here's the deal, this sounds kind of contradictory, but let's say you have an interview tomorrow. Schedule yourself for as much stuff as you can possibly jam in today and even in the morning before your interview. And even in yesterday, just book your schedule. And the reason is the more downtime you have, the more chance you have to build anxiety in yourself and the more stressful you become, the more stressed out, then you're not gonna do a good job. What you need to do is if you keep your mind busy and you have a lot of other things scheduled, then you go into your reactive mode where you're just going through the motions of what you need to do and you're not taking a lot of downtime to stress about your upcoming interview. Then when the interview comes, you can be a little bit more prepared because you haven't built up all this anxiety. The third tip, and I'll be honest, I'm an extrovert. This sort of thing is very natural to me. Interviewing is natural to me. It's actually kind of my comfort zone. So I reached out to a friend who is an executive who presents all the time and I know also has anxiety issues. And I said, what do you do to prepare to kind of calm your nerves? She said she had two tips. The first thing is that she eats a banana before she goes into any big event. And the other thing she does is she drinks a glass of warm water. Okay, now we're gonna talk about why this works for her. But the key is you need to figure out something that works for you in this same manner. She eats a banana because it helps settle her stomach. And one of her big issues is that when she goes out there, she starts to feel really nauseous and like it's taking over her body. So she eats a banana, helps settle her stomach. And even if it's a placebo effect, it gives her a new level of confidence. The second fear she has is that she's gonna lose her voice. So when she drinks a glass of warm water, it preps her vocal cords. She actually goes into the bathroom sometimes, we'll drink some warm water, we'll kind of talk through what she's thinking of a little bit. And then when she gets those two hurdles out of the way, she feels like her most confident self. So what you need to do is get to the root of what your anxiety is, and then figure out if there's a little solution you can employ to help get you past that. These are just a few tips to help you in the job interview process, because hey, we all wanna show our true and best self in the interview process, and not walk away from it thinking, man, I wish I would've done something different. Hopefully this will help you.